Guess what we're drawing today? Hello there, my name is Philip, and this is Heidi. Say hello, say hello. And welcome to Totally Amazing. And yes, today I'm going to show you how to draw a dog, particularly a King Charles Cavalier. So shall we get to it, darling? Shall we start drawing you? Shall we draw you? Yes, let's draw you. Okay, so I'll put you down. She's going to toddle off now, lay down and probably just start snoring like a chainsaw. Anyway, so what we're going to need today, we're going to need a pencil, a rubber and a mark. And of course, we're going to need some paper. And we're going to start drawing Heidi the dog. Okay, so let's get to it, shall we? Alrighty, so what we're going to do, we're going to start by drawing a circle at the top here. But what, we're going to put our head on like a nice little tilt. So what I'm going to do is put an angled line like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line angling inwards on either side for the arms and then I'm going to indicate where the body's going to go by just bring a line down here with a curve at the base and bring that back around. So now I'm going to put in a little curve at the bottom like a semicircle for one foot, semicircle on the other side for another foot and over here I'm going to put another semicircle for another foot and we're going to put a curve out to indicate where that leg's coming from and going. She's going to have a tail and it's going to be wagging so let's put it up like that. And now let's start putting in some details into the head. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with by putting in a, like a curve at the top here, in the middle here, that goes out and comes back to the centre. So it's sort of like a, a sort of like a Superman logo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line straight down and go out to the side, either side, and then hook back up. So it's almost like a W shape. Now in the in this point where the the base of the W meets, I'm going to put a little curve like that. So it's sort of like a jelly bean shape. So it's going curve in, curve out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close off the, the snout. So we're going to come out from the side here, we go a little bit beyond the nose and up to our center line. Same on the other side, go out and bring it back to our center line like that. So that's our, that's our lovely snout of our lovely Heidi. You may not be able to hear her snoring already. Yep, she's snoring. And she can snore with her eyes open. She's that good. She's that good. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle on either side over here. Like that. And what you want to do is you want to put a little circle inside for a little sparkle and then you colour that in. So that's going to be our eyes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in our eyebrows. So we're going to put a nice curved eyebrow, just sort of angling up a little bit, as if she's going So it's a little cute eyebrow like that, which we will bring in another shape around it just to accentuate that eyebrow just a little bit more. Now the shape of the, the snout, I'm going to put in a bit of a curve around here for the colouring, because she has this white bridge and white snout, but the, the cavaliers have the, the darker sides of the eyes. Okay, so what we do now is we're going to indicate where the ears are going to go. So this ear is going to be lower than this ear because it's the head's tilted, so the ear is flopping a little bit further down. So we're going to go down, sort of drawing a triangle shape like that. But this time on this side, it's going to hang over a little bit. So we're going to come down and it's going to sort of like a curve this time. So what we want to do to connect the ear, we're going to put in a little lip. So we're going up and like that, and we're going to go on the other side, just like that. Bring that around. And then we're going to indicate hair. So we're going to go out and in, out and in, and then at the base here, the same. And make them more exaggerated at the bottom there. And on this side, we're going to do the same. We're going to have our little lip at the top there to indicate that the, the ear is connected. We're going to come a curve down. And again, we're going to have our curves like that. Come up out and out one more and then out like that and just to have a little bit of fluff at the top because she's very fluffy Heidi she's very very fluffy and have a little little lip like that too at the top let's put two in why not okay now what we're going to do to connect the head we're going to close it off we're just going to have the head join up like that so it's not a complete circle it's sort of the it's sort of angled like that now cavaliers they tend to have very fluffy chest so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put in a sort of upside down tear shape like that and like I did with the ears I'm going to go out and in, out and in just to indicate that it's fluffy so we don't have to draw heaps of hair and just put a little, little bit of fluff in the centre there like that. 
I'm going to just put a little bit of shadowing underneath. Just like that to show that there is a neck. Okay, so now let's start working on the arm. So what we're going to do, we're going to come around and a little, little indication of hair again. Come down again. Indication of hair and then down that side. Now this side of the leg is usually fluffier, so we're going to leave this side straight. The inner side is going to be straight, which is going to come up. And again, this side, a little bit of fluff as we go down and like that. Now with the toes, or well, the feet, what we're going to do is we're going to draw like three C's and then close it off at the top like that. Again on this side, and this side's going to be the opposite. So this one's going to come around over here. One C, backward C, two C, and three C, and up like that. And now that is going to be our tummy. So just put in a line to connect there. Now the back here, we're just going to bring a line down one little, one little fluff mark like that. We've got. Oh, she has a marking on the back. So what we're going to do is just going to put a circle with one little fluff mark like that. Now we're going to work on the leg because the leg is going to be in front of the back of the rump there. So we're going to have a curve up, one, two little fluff marks, and bring that back around. And again, we're going to draw another set of feet. So we're going to have a C, 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 and back up like that. And this time we're just going to close it off like that. Bring another line around and that's the basic body of our doggy but now we've got to draw the tail so what we're going to do she's still snoring by the way just, just just let you know so we draw a line up straight for the first one but for the back one lots of hair so we're going to one two three and four so that's the part of the, the fluffy part of the tail but we want to make it wagging so what we do one two one two Make sure that the one closer is longer than the one beside it. And um, that's the basics on how you draw a King Charles Cavalier style dog, or Heidi as we like to call it. So what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna get my mark, and I'm gonna mark in all the lines that I wanna keep, and then I'm gonna rub out all the ones that I don't. So let's get down to it, shall we? And there we have our little King Charles Cavalier. Heidi, Heidi. So what do you think, Heidi? What do you think, does that look like you? Does that look like you? Are you happy? Her tail's wagging, I think she's happy. I think she likes it. If you liked today's episode, I want to say something to Heidi. Leave a comment down below and we'll let her know as soon as we can. Because she likes, you like comments, don't you? Also, I have my own comic. It's called Antispite. It's full of adventure and magic and excitement. It's really cool. There's a link down below. Other than that, guys, thanks for joining me and Heidi here. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. If she snores, that's good, because that'll be funny. So we're going to draw you, darling. What? No, these are lines for the front. These are lines for the arms. What are you looking at? Look over there. Look over here. Was that good?